this is the beginning of the year gift from me to you. In this video, I won't be telling you about the importance of consistency, prospecting, learning your scripts, doing your videos, none of that. Instead, I'll be sharing with you the gift that I've been given. I want you to know that this gift is in vast majority not only responsible for my success in my career, but most importantly, my ultimate life fulfillment. What's up guys, my name is Andrea Bloom. I'm the founder and creator of Top Agent Academy. And I'm known for helping agents at different stages create consistent momentum, visibility, growth, find leads and convert these leads in customer and clients. And today I'll be sharing with you mine and hundreds of top producers in this industry secret. I'm not taking credit for this. This is a collective wisdom for many coaches and mentors I had over the years. And I want you to be aware of this gift. Should you not have the time or resources to reach it, but you find yourself watching this video. You may find yourself wanting to create sales, to create relationships, want to create money, want to create homes, houses, and cars, go on vacations and good food, restaurants and experiences. You want to create the tangible evidence of life. And I get that. Everything that you want, either as a material object or status or more money or whatever it is, every single thing that you want or you will ever want, you want it because you believe you will feel good in having it, experiencing it. You want it for the feeling better. Real estate, it's a great equalizer. It really takes people out of poverty, transform lives, and it gives you that feeling better through achievements. But not many know that real estate is 2.5% skills, 2.5% systems, and 95% what I'm about to tell you in this video. Being in real estate means that you are in sales, you are in a service industry, and if that wasn't enough, you also work on commission. So the hardest part of your job is your job. It's a tough business to be in, but there is a formula that never fails if you are in sales, and it's just a matter of choice. If you can separate disappointment from lack of leads, transactions, sales, and money, then your state of being is the lack of leads and money, but your feeling it's not fear or disappointment. Your feeling is anticipation that the leads and the money is coming. If you let your state of being dictate how you feel, if you're beating the drum of it, trying to get sympathy from others, talking about it, worrying about it, obsessing with it, whatever you focus upon, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it takes your attention from hope and certainty and it becomes just fear and bad feeling and ultimately a miserable life. If you're in sales, you have to find a way to separate your reality from your emotions. Now, why is that important? If you're fixated on the disappointments, you're slowing down the process of your ability to advance with your desires. There is a gap between what you want and your current reality. The gap has only to do with how long it takes you to get happy in the absence of yet what you want. In other words, if you can do your job in optimism, you'll get faster where you want to go. In pessimism, you'll get slow. In fear, you don't move at all. And in anger, you're moving backwards. Now, why is it hard to act from optimism? Because you don't let your emotion count for much. You don't realize that fear, anger, anxiety, disappointment matters. When you're in your car and you're driving down the highway and you're steering and you get onto these bumps on the side of the road, it always gets your attention. No wise person will ignore these bumps. When you're on these bumps, you're either closer to the edge or you're veering into oncoming traffic. These bombs are an indication that you're not doing with these vehicles what you are supposed to be doing or what you mean to be doing. So when you feel the bumps of the negative emotions, it's an indicator that you should be doing something. But so often you don't. Because sometimes it's entertaining to complain, but mostly because you have no idea what's going on. You're not aware of your negative emotion indicator. As a consequence, you're slowing down your process. But most importantly, doesn't feel good. I can't figure out since you decided to be in this business why any of you will be willing to complain and be miserable rather than be happy and optimistic when happy feels so much better. Why would you be willing to hate what you do rather than embracing it when loving what you do feels so much better? You're doing it because you got a habit of doing it and it's hard to break a habit. But if you don't break that habit, you're going to get more of what you feel rather than what you want. Keep this in mind if you're in sales. Your success is 95% determined by your ability to control how you feel. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't put together your 2023 business plan, go and watch this video and stay tuned for our next video about how to create your perfect schedule that will help you bring your business to the next level.